Hi everyone, welcome to DIY Ideas. Today I'll show you a five minute project. So this can be a really cool last minute gift idea or it can be for yourself as well. So I'm going to show you how you can make cloud cushions. They're super easy to make and I think because they are customizable, they can also be super cute as well. So these you can do with your sewing machine to get nice applications on your fabric. The lines you do or the contours are a bit thicker then than if you do it by hand. And you can also, yeah, do it by hand if you're patient enough. But anyway, let's get right to it. All that you need is here. So pins, fabric, something to mark with, some fabric scissors and some filling. So you basically cut out the shape that you want. You align the front fabric and the back fabric and pin them together and then you cut out. And I want to have a little face on here so I mark that as well, but on the back side. And I'll make it a bit thicker so that I can see it from the other side as well. So here I am now, I turned it inside out and I separated the pieces. Here is the front side. Now I also mark this on this side so that it's the same on both. Yeah, so this face we will do now with our sewing machine. So this is called an application then, and that's when you do a design on your fabric that's actually not a stitch, but just um, a stitch as a decoration. You need black thread. You can of course do it in different colors if you'd like, but I'm gonna stick to black. And you need to adjust some things on your sewing machine so that you can be able to do it. So a regular straight stitch won't do this time. So in order to do this, I'll show you how that goes and you'll see what you get afterwards when you adjust it. So the length is zero and the stitch on your other wheel will be one or this symbol that you see here. So this one here. Or the third one because it's the same thing. And now let's align our sewing machine with the longest line, the eye line. And later we will do the lashes as well. Make sure you don't pull too fast on the fabric and make sure it's all nice and flat. And if the fabric is too thin, you need something to support it so that you don't rip your fabric. And make sure you're not too fast because you might end up with unwanted holes in your fabric. So you see that it basically makes a very tight zigzag stitch and when you don't pull too fast you get a really cool and really thick line as well. So now you'll finish all of the lines that you marked. It's the same method. Make sure you do this when you're concentrated so that you can prevent mistakes. So feel free to practice on some scrap fabric as well with just straight lines or maybe um, you can do other shapes as well and just kind of try, so straight lines or waves or similar different things before you start your bland application. So I'm now finished and you see that it's not the same throughout the whole application. So this is something you get with experience and practice and you can notice that I haven't done this a whole lot often myself and that's why I said practice and scraps until you're confident enough and you can also do this with the mouth if you'd like or without the mouth or maybe you can add a nose or pretty much you can do it however you like it. And that's it. So now we need our back fabric. We will align the two halves again. 
pretty side and pretty side and then you will just go around the whole shape. Here you should stop before the beginning and you need a little opening to turn this inside out and to put the filling material in. Don't forget to switch to your regular stitch. I make this nice and neat and I'll turn it inside out. Now fill this with the filling material of your choice. Make sure to fix the corners and edges if you need to. When you're satisfied, you can close the hole by hand. And now you are done and your cushion is finished. So this is what you get. Of course, you can adjust this according to your own preferences. I'm gonna show you a bigger size here as well, just to show you what you can do. So you can adjust the sizes and even the design itself. It's a pretty cool thing because you can adjust it according to the person you wanna give it to or according to your own preferences. So as I mentioned, it could be a gift or you can make it for yourself as well. I think it's great for a baby room, maybe like a nursery, or even if you want to decorate your room specifically for you. So I think it's a great gift, but I'd definitely make this for myself as well. And I think I'm going to keep these two. But yeah, these are our cushions. So here are both of them. You can see the different sizes and shapes, so it's highly customizable. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you've done this in a maybe bit different way. I'd love to hear your ideas, what else we can do maybe apart from just clouds. If you try to make it yourself, let me know how you did it and if you're satisfied. You can also let me know if you want um, maybe some other projects or if you have any specific wishes what we're gonna do next time and yeah I hope you enjoyed in this project if you did feel free to shoot a thumbs up and if you want to stay updated with everything else that we post then make sure to subscribe so until our next project have a wonderful day bye